yesterday's session okay we talked about uh, the different items in select statement and then the create statement we use the not null class primary key and what is the effect of primary key and not null doing selective insertion to the columns and then uh, doing update and delete doing a selective delete and uh, doing all delete this is what we have seen uh, yesterday and we also saw some of the aggregate functions okay like count min max also now I opened the control panel uh, before going to today's session I would like to show something when you install MySQL the MySQL will be running as a service if you go to control panel administrative tools okay under the administrative tools there is something called services okay if you go to that services you will see an entry called MySQL okay that must be in the started state I'm just opening the services screen now okay the I'm just double clicking that the services will show a service means the programs that run in the background okay the lot of programs running in the background so if you see here there is a MySQL entry okay right now there are many services which are in the start state but here this MySQL is not currently in the start state so what you need to do is if it is not started you have to say right click start it will start the service and then you will see that status also reflecting as now it says started right so only when this is in the started status okay now I close the close that uh, control panel then only you can successfully log in to MySQL without this particular service running you cannot log into MySQL if you try to log into MySQL it will give you error service not running right so you have to definitely start the service to start the service control panel administrative tools services now I go to start all programs now there is a MySQL prompt over there and then you could see the command line I'm just going there to MySQL server then I get into MySQL command line client right it will open up the MySQL prompt now now it, I'm going to enter the password SA now it allows me to log in so if you don't have that service started you will have issues this is very very important because many times when you restart the system uh, the service may not be running simply control panel administrative tools services MySQL right click start a very simple process is this clear to you all can you please raise the hand if so very simple procedure very good now let us continue with MySQL subsequently whatever we have learned from study okay now I'm going to the database test today we will see more classes in the create statement as well as in select and update right now let me say let me first drop table my table okay I'm just dropping this table so the table is removed now I'm going to create one more table I say create table let me say tickets I'm, I plan to have a table called tickets now I'm going to create columns uh, PNR this is an integer now I say train number this is again another uh, integer okay again I can go and then give PNR number as uh, 
primary key right now train number as integer then I'm going to create uh, date of journey this is date okay now I'm going to give another thing is a uh, number of passengers right number of passengers I'm going to say integer I want to say this is a not null call please watch the number of passengers if the user doesn't give I want it to be at least one if the user does not give a value while insert I want that to be by default one if in that case you have to say default one okay now I'm closing and then entering that it has created the table we have already seen primary key not null etc today we are introducing there is something called a default class in the create statement now I say describe uh, tickets now it says number of passengers this is an integer this cannot be null it says default one what is the meaning of default let me show you with an example now I'm going to do an insert statement insert into tickets I'm going to say values PNR number 100 train number 123 date of journey sys date number of passengers 2 okay I'm entering that it has accepted that now I say select star from tickets I have given a value 2 so it has inserted the value 2 yesterday we also saw one other way which is like you can selectively insert the values to certain columns now watch insert into tickets I am going to give value for PNR and train number I am not going to give values for other columns okay for date of joining I am not going to give values for number of passengers I am not going to give values just watch values I am going to supply only two values PNR number 120 train number I am going to give 145 it has inserted now see the magic for the record PNR number equal to 120 I have not given the value of number of passengers now let us do a select look at this for this PNR number 100 I have given the number of passengers as 2 so it has inserted 2 whereas for PNR number 120 I have not given the value for date of joining as well as NPSG okay but even though I have not given it has taken the value as 1 for the number of passengers and it has inserted that it is successfully inserted why did it did so because at the time of creation of the table I have given default value 1 default meaning at the time of inserting if the user does not give the value use whatever default value that we have given in the create statement so that we don't have some empty value in that okay this is the use of default is this clear to you all great let us continue so if you take create create statement itself is having different data types not null primary key and the default right there is one other thing called the foreign key and auto generated we will see that in the subsequent classes now I'm going to have some more records uh, insert into tickets values let me give some more values okay 130 train number 245 let me say sys date then come on number of passengers equal to 3 
I am going to do a series of insert statements. Okay. Just uh, for example sake, because I am going to use a different set of uh, select statements now. Okay. Let us do a select statement. Okay. Select star from tickets. Now it is showing six records. Suppose I want to see only PNR number, train number and N passenger number of passengers. You can simply say instead of star, select the column name PNR, train number, comma, N PSGR from tickets. You always need not do select star. If you say star, all columns will be printed. If you spell out whichever columns you want, column 1, comma, column 2, comma, column 3, it will display only those columns. So if the table may have 40 columns, you may see only 4 columns. For that you need to use select columns from the table. Now yesterday we have used where clause in delete. Now I am going to use that extensively in this um, example. Okay. Where is a condition? Okay. Before going to the where clause in extend, uh, extensive mode, I am going to show you sorting. I want to sort. Right now this is sorted based on PNR number which is the primary key. Now I want to sort based on the number of passengers. I want to have in that in ascending order. If you want to do that way, I have to say select star from tickets, right? Order by, okay? order by NPSGR ascending, ASC for ascending. Right now it is showing 2, 1, 3, 3, 5, 6, something like that. Now I want this column must be the sorting column, ascending. Now watch. Previously it displayed 2, 1, 3, 3, something like that for that column. Now it has sorted the entire list based on the number of passengers. Right now the PNR number is not sorted because we are sorting in the ascending order of this particular column. I can do the same thing in descending mode by simply saying that descending. Now instead of printing 1 to 6, it has done the reverse order. It is the sorting way. Now you can do the sorting in multiple ways, okay? For example, number of passenger, comma, train number. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 3, 5, 6. When it sorts based on the number of passengers, within that, there are two trains, 246 and 245 with the number 3. Within that when I say descending, first 246 comes, after that 245 comes. If it is ascending, first 245 comes, then 246 comes. So within the same number, it is sorting in train number. In Excel also you can do sort the date columns and you can do multiple columns also. So if you want to do sorting, recollect the first class. In the first class we talked about Whenever we used to have the data retrievals, databases use is store the data, get the data. While getting the data, you can search, you can sort. So searching and sorting are extremely important. So sorting we have seen as order by. Searching is what we are doing using where condition. Okay. Whenever we are saying where, that is what is called the searching or filtering. Is this order by class? clear to you all? Can you please raise the hands if you, if it is so? Great. Right. Perfect. Now, 